the race for engine supremacy has just taken a shocking turn. For decades, China's passenger jets depended on engines from the West. Rolls-Royce, General Electric, and Safran ruled the skies. But that era may be coming to an end. Meet the CJ2000, China's first homegrown high-bypass turbofan engine, designed to power the massive C929 airliner and rival the world's best. After years of secrecy, test footage, and leaked specs reveal a breakthrough that could change global aviation forever. And this time, Boeing and Airbus might not be laughing. This is how the CJ2000 changes everything. For years, China's aviation industry faced one major obstacle. It could design aircraft, but not the engines to power them. The ARJ-21 regional jet and even the upcoming C919 relied on engines from the West, specifically the CFM Leap 1C, built through a US-French partnership. This dependency was more than a technical issue. It was a geopolitical weakness. Every time Washington tightened export controls, Beijing was reminded that its skies weren't truly independent. That's why the CJ2000 isn't just another engine. It's a statement. Developed by the Aero Engine Corporation of China, AECC, the CJ2000 represents over a decade of research, failures, and quiet determination. Engineers were tasked with creating an engine that could rival the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 and the General Electric GE9X, both used on long-haul wide-body aircraft like the Boeing 787 and 777X. The goal? To power China's own C929, a wide-body jet designed to compete directly with the Dreamliner and Airbus A350. The journey was anything but easy. In the early years, China struggled with materials the kind of heat-resistant alloys and precision turbine blades that Western companies spent decades perfecting. Failures during early prototypes were common, but instead of giving up, China built an entire supply chain to solve these challenges. Dozens of state-owned firms collaborated, using supercomputing, 3D printing, and AI-based modeling to improve aerodynamics and reduce vibration. By 2024, AECC announced that the CJ2000 had completed full-engine ground testing, a milestone that stunned many Western analysts. This engine, capable of generating over 78,000 pounds of thrust, wasn't just operational. It was efficient, quiet, and built entirely with domestic technology. For the first time in history, China could power a long-range aircraft without any foreign parts. In many ways, the CJ2000 is a symbol of China's industrial self-sufficiency. It represents not only progress in aviation, but a broader shift from importing technology to leading innovation. And just like Huawei in the smartphone and AI chip sectors, AECC is now doing the same for aviation engines. The world began to take notice, because if China can master jet engines and the hardest and most complex machines ever built, then the balance of power in the skies might soon tilt eastward. At first glance, the CJ2000 looks like any other massive turbofan. A gleaming cylinder of titanium and carbon fiber with fan blades curved like the petals of a metallic flower. But beneath its surface lies the story of one of the most complex engineering achievements in modern Chinese history. Unlike earlier engines such as the WS10 or WS15, which were primarily military, the CJ2000 was built for commercial reliability and efficiency. That means surviving tens of thousands of flight hours, meeting international noise standards, and burning fuel as efficiently as Western rivals. To achieve that, AECC's engineers had to master three technologies China had long struggled with. Single crystal turbine blades, composite fan materials, and full authority digital engine control, FADEC. The single crystal blades capable of withstanding temperatures beyond 1,600 Deki are the true heart of the CJ2000. They allow the engine to run hotter and more efficiently, something Western companies like GE and Rolls-Royce guarded as state secrets. AECC reportedly used AI simulations and electron beam melting to perfect the cooling channels inside these blades, an innovation that reduced material stress and extended engine lifespan dramatically. Then there's the fan system, lighter, stronger, and made with advanced carbon fiber composites sourced from China's growing aerospace materials sector. The result is a larger bypass ratio, meaning the engine moves more air around the core rather than through it, 
improving fuel efficiency and reducing emissions. At the heart of the engine's brain sits a Chinese-made FADEC, a digital system that precisely manages airflow, fuel delivery, and temperature in real time. Until recently, China relied on imported systems, but now it controls the entire data loop. This gives AECC an enormous advantage for future upgrades, predictive maintenance, and integration with AI-powered diagnostics. When test footage surfaced in late 2024 showing the CJ2000 roaring to life on a massive stand in Shanghai, even skeptical Western analysts were surprised by its stability. No flameouts, no abnormal vibration, just smooth, sustained thrust. For China, this wasn't just another prototype, it was proof that they had caught up. And if early reports are accurate, the CJ2000 could soon begin flight testing on the COMAX C929, the aircraft designed to bring this engine's power to the skies. When news broke that China's CJ2000 had successfully completed full ground testing, the reaction in Western aviation circles ranged from disbelief to quiet alarm. For decades, jet engine technology was considered one of the last frontiers of Western dominance, a barrier that even Russia couldn't fully break through. Now China had done what many experts thought impossible. For Boeing and Airbus, this development goes far beyond simple competition. It represents the first time that China can produce a wide-body aircraft and power it independently, from fuselage to engine. That means no export licenses, no dependency on American or European components, and no political leverage from sanctions. In a world increasingly defined by technological sovereignty, the CJ2000 gives Beijing something priceless, freedom. The implications for Boeing are particularly serious. The American giant is still recovering from safety scandals, production delays, and a loss of global trust. Meanwhile, the COMAX C929, powered by the CJ2000, could offer developing nations a cheaper and politically safer alternative. Imagine airlines in Africa, the Middle East, or Southeast Asia choosing a Chinese jet over a Western one. Not just because it's affordable, but because it comes without strings attached. Airbus, though less politically tied to Washington, also feels the heat. China was one of Airbus's largest markets, but that's changing fast. With domestic options now available, Beijing can prioritize buy Chinese initiatives, reducing future Airbus orders. The C919 already competes with the A320neo, and the C929 will take on the A350 directly, this time with a Chinese heart beating inside. Western engine makers, especially Rolls-Royce and GE, face a different kind of threat. Their business models rely heavily on long-term service contracts, maintenance, spare parts, and upgrades. But if China no longer needs them, those billion-dollar service revenues could vanish in entire regions. Analysts at Flight Global and Aviation Week have already called the CJ-2000 a geopolitical engine, a machine that represents both engineering triumph and strategic power. Because the moment a nation can build a jet engine that competes with the West's best, it's no longer just building planes, it's building independence. And that's exactly what has Washington and Toulouse watching the skies a little more nervously than before. With the CJ-2000 nearing flight readiness, the next chapter in China's aviation story centers on the C929, a twin-aisle wide-body jet designed to compete with the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. Originally a joint project with Russia under the CR929 name, the collaboration slowly faded as political and technological tensions grew. Today, the aircraft has evolved into a purely Chinese project, redesigned, rebranded, and rebuilt with one mission to prove that China can dominate long-haul aviation. The C929's specifications are ambitious. It's expected to seat around 280 to 320 passengers, with a range of over 12,000 kilometers, allowing it to fly non-stop from Shanghai to London or Beijing to Los Angeles. When powered by the CJ2000, it promises fuel efficiency improvements that could rival Western counterparts, with advanced composite materials reducing overall weight and noise. COMAX engineers are also designing a new digital cockpit, integrating China's own avionics and flight control systems, 
another key step toward full independence from foreign suppliers. But beyond the numbers, the C929 represents something deeper, national pride. Every stage of its development has been accompanied by intense media attention in China, with state outlets framing it as a symbol of the country's technological sovereignty. Built by China, powered by China has become more than a slogan. It's a strategic message to the world. Internationally, the C929 faces hurdles. Certification by Western aviation authorities like the FAA and ESA will be difficult, if not impossible, in today's geopolitical climate. Yet that might not matter as much as it once did. China is rapidly expanding its influence in regions such as Africa, the Middle East, and Latin America, where its aircraft are already being offered with generous financing and infrastructure deals. Comac is positioning itself as the third global manufacturer, ready to challenge the duopoly of Boeing and Airbus. And with the CJ2000 engine, China no longer needs to ask anyone for permission to fly. This combination, a homegrown airframe and a domestic power plant, gives Beijing total control over its aviation destiny. The first test flights of the C929 with the CJ2000 are rumored to be scheduled before 2026. If successful, it will mark the beginning of a new era in global aviation, one where China's skies are powered entirely by its own innovation. The CJ2000 isn't just an engine, it's a symbol of how far China has come. For decades, the West believed that mastering jet engines would remain an unreachable goal for Beijing. But with the CJ2000 roaring to life and preparing to lift the C929 into the skies, that belief has been shattered. This breakthrough marks the beginning of a new aviation order, one where China no longer depends on the US or Europe for critical technology. From smartphones to supercomputers, and now to jet engines, China has proven that persistence and investment can rewrite the rules of global competition. As the C929 prepares for its first flight, the world is watching closely. Because this isn't just about an aircraft, it's about the balance of power in the skies. Boeing and Airbus may still dominate for now, but the wind is changing direction, and it's blowing from the east. If you want to stay ahead of these global shifts and witness how China's aviation revolution unfolds, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon. The next chapter of aviation history is being written right now, and you won't want to miss it.